coming up right after this about uh, we're just going to concentrate right here on the TR-3B and America's Space Force. Now I'm only dealing with US Space Force right now. We'll get to Germany, we'll get to China, we'll get to Russia and we'll get to other factions uh, such as individuals that are as powerful as a country because they have so much money and these guys had this technology a long time ago so it's either blue pill right now don't watch no more or it's red pill you get the information and it's coming up more about the TR-3B and the Space Force right after this So I see you want to be red-pilled, <laughs> that's fine, because what we're talking about here is the UFO phenomenon that's been happening for the last, I don't know, over five years, over five years we've been looking at this stuff, and uh, so there's new upgrades, there's trillion, okay, there's, first of all, we got Trump's new Space Force, okay, uh, uh, when he announced this in Miramar, uh, base and as a in a speech to the Marines uh, talking about new technology and new weaponry and and just this and he thought that he should have a space force uh, as, as a part of the military branch well that's when he declassified all this stuff so that frees me up to talk about this and I've been placed here in this situation to get more information out so we're talking about the TR3B today uh, we got the TR-3B, it's in a bubble, it can create a bubble, an electromagnetic uh, field bubble in the infrared spectrum, not the ultraviolet, but the infrared. There's two sides of the spectrum, we're talking about infrared side on the TR-3B. Now, does this look similar to anything, like maybe a piece of pizza on the plate? That's where I got Pizza Gate, right there because there was, and, and then there's the Sky Dreadnoughts, and I think I, and those are the hot dogs. But anyway, let's get back to these planes, because the light configuration, okay? Uh, I'm gonna bring you an interesting um, uh, conversation uh, from Kerry Cassidy, uh, another one of my favorite YouTubers uh, who, who has gotten to the truth, and uh, the truth is more shocking than you could possibly imagine. So so let's just stick with her conversation. I'll let you listen to a little bit of that. And then uh, it'll, it'll explain that the planes, uh, the, the planes may not be planes. When you see a plane hovering or a plane um, like going backwards and that comes from another report that I'm gonna put up uh, from third phase of the moon. Now, many of these reports are years old, but the nice thing is with YouTube, you can go back and search all this information out for yourself. The links are always gonna be in the description down there. While you're doing that, you know I want me a like. You know I need a like, so. So when you take the red pill, go ahead and like it. So what we're looking at here is... In what kind of vehicle at this point were you going Okay, to... at this point, this was definitely a highly advanced vehicle. Um, TR-3Bs. The black triangles? Yes. Okay, cool. We're commonly used. We use those a lot. The thing about those specific craft is that light configuration can be changed to make it look like a normal plane, and even the sound emitted from it can be altered. So, if it's really dark out, you, what you see, you see lights that appear to be maybe like a 747, it sounds like a 747. I'm not saying this is always the case, but there's always that chance that it could be a TR-3B. Well, of course, there's a new model now. The old model has already been as far outdated. They got the new, the new Aurora, which is, uh, oh, I have it somewhere with the, 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 the classification, but... It's far more advanced. I mean, we're talking anywhere in the world and 
under 12 minutes. Okay. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at the TR3B, okay? Uh, it doesn't always have the bubble around it, only when it's getting ready to jump to hyperspeed. Okay, so trying not to leave breadcrumbs, I'm trying to like connect dots for you. So the TR3B can jump to high, uh, hyperspeed and all you feel is a little hum or, and that's all you hear, hear or feel. So anyway, the TR3B has this new technology. Actually, it was actually upgraded with trillions, trillions of dollars, man. Trillions of dollars used in our military, uh, what do they call it? The military industrial complex was spent, you know, this is Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, uh, General Dynamics. I thought that General Dynamics was dead, but they're apparently they're still around. Uh, and uh, Boeing, and it, it gets deep, but anybody bidding, any big aerospace company can bid on these contracts that the government really uh, puts out. We'll talk about Google later and their spaceship. They have a spaceship, uh, it, was, it was old scrap and, and all the, high technological stuff was taken out. Let's get back to the planes and the TR-3B. The TR-3B uses that same stuff. Remember there's a, uh, the kids are in, all in the gym and there's this thing set up and this big whale comes out and splashes everybody and everybody trips out because it looks real. It, 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 and so that's what, what's happening. So, so they upgraded that system and put it on the TR-3B. Then after they got uh, all these prototypes in place and, and the, the, the information was like um, tested, tested. Uh, then they went ahead and, and they made the new TR-3B. It's been upgraded to the Aurora. So we have the Aurora. I got some photos of that. Uh, and and the, the, all my photos are basically photos or, or I'm using my phone to uh, record the images that I see on um, on YouTube. So I'm basically recording a video because I don't have the capability to download it and give it to you in the uh, as clear as you can possibly get. So, but I can take screenshots, and but that only gives you an image. It doesn't give you the video. So I've my video are are low quality, uh, but I just want to let you know why, and that's why. So anyway, we have these uh let's say there's been sightings of uh like orbs or lights following uh you could say iron man following uh an airplane and the airplane is cam trailing so what happens is the orb will come up from behind or the iron man or the disc craft or whatever uh the ufo will come up from behind and and then it will remote control the airplane and it will kick out these chemtrails. In 2004, Boeing applied for a patent for a system referred to as uninterruptible autopilot. The ground controller could now take control away from the pilots so that they wouldn't have control over the throttles, over the yoke, over the rudder pedals. A new problem. This wouldn't necessarily be hack proof, right? This system wouldn't necessarily be hack proof. So. So let's kind of cover everything I covered. So Trump announced uh, he wanted a military space force. And then uh, we have trillions used uh, that were kind of supposed to be in the black budget and the Pentagon and stuff. And when we're talking trillions, oh man, dude, that, that's a lot of money. But uh, I think it was Rothschild that said uh, 200 billion is merely a drop in the pond. So that it's, it's a little bit to get a lot of stuff done, okay? So this is all comes out with disclosure. Uh, I'm gonna leave uh, another video in the, in the link that has a, a April Fool's, April Fool's joke, you see plausible deniability, released on April Fool's uh, several years ago uh, about the invisible light technology, uh, light bending technology. And that's where we get into the light configuration. I'm not sure if it's holographic, 
or a hologram or but there there is that technology out there and of course our black budget the black budget uh, is always uh, has always had this for several years until uh, they release it out to the college so the college has that uh, invisibility so the TR3B can look like a plane okay it has that ability so the plane uh, does the plane um, levitate or have that have that capability well some may right now but for right now let's just stick to the um, to the light configuration and, and the interview from Kerry Cassidy with uh, Aaron McCollum and so we stick to that and then that explains it to you right there now you get to hear this interview uh, I don't mean to step on anybody's toes I'm kind of going with uh, fair use but look if you ever claim uh, and want whatever money these videos generate take it take it I don't need your money okay so and I don't want to step on anybody's toes I look up to you guys and uh, I'm just bringing it out in a different way okay so this is how I work you work your way I work my way I'm kind of in the shadows I'm in the dark I'm not contacting people out there I have made a few contacts but uh, my story is like totally unbelievable and and that gets into the looking glass and portal technology and time travel so we'll get to that stuff later and uh, believe me I am like on a campaign right now and 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 I'm making moves so so that's why I'm bringing this out to you this is just another little one uh, it, it's scatterbrained that's how I work uh, when you make you know it's just how it goes you're just gonna have to take it for what it is so uh, I think I covered it all and uh, I appreciate you watching that's your red pill for the day and uh, hopefully uh, if things go right I have more future videos coming your way I'm looking for you, you to subscribe I want you to put the little bell on there so you get my notification when I let out a new video and then uh, I want uh, I, I need a, a like and a share those are always the biggest and even if you do that hey look your, your share ain't gonna go nowhere people are not accepting this and it, it because it's magical and that's where Majestic 12 was back in the days. They, their whole objective was keep a lid on the magic technology and they used my labs for that. And if you ever got too close or this or that, then you would be part of an abduction. You would, they would simulate an alien abduction and your ass might get probed. So anyway, we're gonna not disrespect anybody on that note and we don't want to, um, uh, attack anybody uh, 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 that has this type of experience and the last thing we want to do is start blaming pilots okay pilots are the remote control it, it's remote controlled and, and it's usually uh, a UFO which could be one of many that we have uh, Iron Man uh, disc craft uh, could be the sky dreadnought I got more on the sky dreadnought I just that one's gonna be in the next video okay all right man like it subscribe it uh, share it send it follow it you know do all punch it man just do all and and be sure and listen to the links and if you get a chance you know on on those links uh um there's only one way to make money on youtube and, and that's with our advertisers so uh be an advertiser friendly uh you know uh take the time give up that little bit of money uh it's 30 seconds you know or less and if it's too long then just but anyway, I can't talk about that. Enjoy. This is Fred Grace, and I'm out.